Welcome to Cornwall and welcome to Kernow EXP. We explore from land, sea and air and the lost and forgotten places. So we're now about to go exploring. So let's go folks. Hope you enjoy Kernow EXP, Cornwall's premier exploring YouTube channel. Let's go. Good evening. Welcome back to Kerno EXP. Tonight I'm here with David. Hello. Hello, Dave. Hello. Here. I hope you guys can hear us okay. Um, we're using the mic on the camera tonight. Um, the reason why we're doing that is if we get um, found out by the local landowner, then we can pack up fairly quickly and get the hell out. So tonight, where are we, Dave? Uh, can I say the name? No, don't say the name where it is, but what is this building? Uh, oh, barn. It's a barn somewhere in, in the countryside. Isn't it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. So we're here to have a chat to start with. And then we're going to do a ghost hunt here, folks. We've been here a second time now. This is the second time. The first time we came here, what did we experience, David? Weird shit. Definitely was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Four times outside. Eh? We've, yeah, there was lots of noises and grass breaking and stuff grass. like that. Definitely, definitely a strange location. So in the middle here, um, we've got like a trench. This was obviously used for animals at one time, and uh, possibly something else before that. We've got most paranormal kit here with us, and we've got the apps as well. Now we were going to do a live stream, folks, but um, unfortunately, the signal let us down. Can you smell like something burning or something? No. Can you smell something like? That? No. Okay. Definitely a bit of a strange smell. I'm hoping that you guys can hear us. Um, so, so yeah, welcome back to Kerno EXP and welcome back to a brand new video. So it's Saturday and it's about 10 o'clock. What, what do you say, about 10? Let's have a look. Uh, maybe 25 to 11. So we've got, as you can see, we've got red light on. We usually use that when we're doing ghost investigations now. It's been said and documented that spirits do not like white light. Uh, red light, it, it doesn't scare them, it attracts them in. So this is why we use that, folks. We haven't actually done a ghost hunt for a while now. This is the first one for two weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So those of you who have been watching for a while were probably wondering what the hell's going on with Kerno EXP. Well, we had to move out of the house where we were living to because my mum co-owned it, unfortunately, with her ex-husband and the house was sold and the money was split. Not equally, my mum had more than him and uh, we had to move out and we were homeless for a short time. Uh, luckily now, <coughs> thanks to the help of friends and the council, we've got uh, accommodation sorted for the foreseeable future. And once we find somewhere else to go, we'll be moving on again from there. It has, <coughs> <coughs> it has been a bit of a headache. I'd like to thank David and David's family, Chris and Sophie, Adam, and a few of you out there that have helped directly with a donation and so on and so forth. So I'd just like to thank every one of you that have helped us. We are so appreciative. Um, I don't like asking for help, folks. I'm a very proud person, and uh, I realised that I had to ask for help, and I did, to protect my family and my son, you know, from um, basically living on the streets, you know. It's not a nice thing to do, but uh, we've got through it, thank God. I'd just like to thank my wife's family as well for helping quite a bit too, including my own mum. So there we go. That's that out of the way now, so... We're now going to commence a ghost investigation here. Now, last time, like David said, we had had some weird things that we couldn't explain, like noises outside and so on and so forth. So tonight we've got most of the kit and uh, we're going to try our best to see if there's any spirits here. 
Firstly, if you are doing ghost investigations, it's always wise to do protection because you don't want any said spirit following you home. Uh, it's been well documented that spirits can do that and they can ruin your life. So should we do that, Dave? Yeah. Imagine a white light above you. The white light comes down and surrounds us. Nothing from the spirit world is allowed to follow us or attach itself to us in any way. But we do invite any spirit that could be here to speak with us, to communicate with our devices, to show yourself, move things, speak to us. Don't be afraid of us. But please remember, you are not allowed to follow us in any way because we have the power of the light. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. Right, we're now going to start. Did you hear that? Was that me, was it? I thought it looks like a hiccup. Mm. Did you hear that? Yeah. Where did it come from? From your side. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Did you hear that? I moved it out there. I'm, I'm feeling cold already. As soon as we've done that, it's 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 changed. Anyway, let's. Uh, Commence with some kit. So we've got cat balls in there. Oh, that's the other mic system that we. What was that? It's a whistle. This place is weird, folks. I'm not even fucking kidding. Which one do you want? Last one. Right, these go off. If these K2s go off, it's the real deal, folks, because there's no live stream here tonight. So, Dave, did you just see that? What? Look, look. What the fuck? You are fucking kidding me. Do that quickly. Yeah. It's doing it like it did last time, look. Can you see that, folks? Look. What the fuck? Is that you, is it? Is that you in playing with the green lights? There's no reason for that. Because there's no electronics here, apart from the camera. My phone, there's no internet, it's, it's off. Right, we'll put that. Dave, look. You can't make it up, you just can't make it up. Right, cat balls. Do you want to put one in that window there? I'll put one in this window. Where are you? I'm forgetting my head. Oh shit, I thought I was going to lose it down the hall then. Spirit, do you recognise us from last time? If you recognise us from the last time we were here, could you let us know? That's me. Got my phone, right? yeah. that, that was proper, that was proper real deal. Right, we'll, <coughs> we'll get the other cat balls out. We're going to put some more cat balls around with it, folks. Uh, do you want to put another one down there somewhere? Wherever you want, wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put one down there. Oh shit, no! Oh fucking hell! Oh, swore then. Sorry, folks. I nearly lost it. I nearly lost the plot. Right. These are a bit brighter, these ones. A little bit better. We're going to put one down by this door here just to see if we do get any responses. So I'm pretty confident we are going to get a few things tonight. So, we've got this, and we've got the spirit box, wherever it is. Where's the spirit box, Dave? Behind you. Is it? Oh, yeah. Right. We're going to use the spirit box to start with. We've had good responses with this. Is 
Is there anyone here with us? Is there anybody here? Please don't be frightened by us. We don't mean you any harm. If you worked here. Yeah, it's a radio. It's tuning in. If you worked here for many years. Was you a, a milkmaid? Did you used to milk the cows here? If you did, can you show us that you're here, please? My name's Mark. My name's David. And we're here with great respect for you. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk with you. Can you come and talk with us, please? Can you show that you're still here? Now we do have these little balls around everywhere. If you go towards the ball, you'll make them light up and that will tell us that you're here with us. Could you light up one of the balls, please? Like I said, we, don't, we aren't going to harm you in any way. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to speak with you. You don't need to speak with us if you don't want to speak with us. You can just light up the little balls or you can go towards those green lights we have on the floor and you can make the colours change and that will tell us that you're here. Do you think you could do that for us please? Or if you would like to speak with us, we have a radio here. And you can speak to us through the radio in a moment. Would you like that at all? Or could you move something? Could you tap on the floor above us? The beams, the wooden beams above us? Could you walk over the beams? Can we hear your footprints, please? Just heard something out there then. Please don't be frightened by us. We don't mean you any harm at all. No, just spike. If you need some help, we can help you. If you're stuck here, we need to know that you're here so we can help you. Would you like us to help you? If you do, can you let us know that you're here, please? Now, like I said, me and my friend David here, we don't want to harm you. We won't harm you in any way at all. No. We just want to know you're here. So are you here, spirit? Can you let yourself be known, please, right now? Sound. I don't know if that's the radio or not. Yeah, yeah. Let's um. Right, that's off now. So, folks, right? If you hear anything, or see any light anomalies, or anything that you think is paranormal, please can you timestamp it? Now, I always ask that because we've had things happen which me and David or the crew cannot see, but you guys at home can see it. So if you witness anything, timestamp it, and then we can research it later on. Now, we have experienced things here before. Now, I am call, call and collective tonight, as you probably can tell by the, my stance and my voice, because usually I'm quite highty flighty as you know, don't you? Mm. But I'm feeling quite cool and calm tonight. It's always best to speak with spirit. If you are interested in paranormal, coolly and calmly, because if you're highty flighty, then they're likely not to respond to you. So this is the first one we've done for quite a while now. So I've learned that you've got to be calm. 
but there is a couple of bugs flying about so that's there's one just there folks so, so that's debunked but they're bugs so is there any farm workers here any farm workers that worked and looked after the animals that were in here There is a lot of moisture. There's a lot of moisture in the beams here, folks. We've had a lot of rain of late, haven't we, Dave? Yeah. So we, we, we're trying to debunk as well, folks, because there's a lot of things that are natural phenomenon which could be deemed as paranormal. So we always like to debunk to make sure that um, we're getting the real deal. There's movement out there. Is that you out there, doorway there? Was you letting yourself be known, was you? Are you going to come in and speak with us? It's quite, I'm feeling cold now. I just heard about a footprint over here then. Are you walking towards us, are you? So did you work here for many years? Can you let yourself be known, please? Can you can you light up some of the balls that we put around? It could be a rat out there, couldn't it? Could be. You you sensing something over here? Yeah. Yes, because you just tap. Did you hear it again? Did you? Yeah. Well, could be more chicken. It's possible. So are you making some sounds, are you? Please don't be frightened by us. Can you let yourself be known, please? Can you, would you be so kind as to light up one of the balls? Maybe in the windows here or on the floor? Or if you would like to, can you come towards this green light here? Oh, like you did then. Was that you then, was it? Thank you for that, if that was you. Could you do it again, please? Just come towards the green light. It won't hurt you. Oh, yeah. So, so, so you are here then. Are you frightened by us? Please don't be frightened. It's flickering there, folks. I don't know if you can see that or not. So there is somebody here with us, isn't there? I think you're hiding in the shadows, aren't you? We want to talk with you. Do you need some help? Are you trapped here? Now, I know you've done the little light a little bit. But we really, really need to know that you're here 100%. So do you think you could light them up to the red? Do you think you could do that? We'd be so impressed if you could do that. I know it takes a lot of energy, but the lights that we have around, there's a lot of energy in those. You can take some of the power from that if you, if you haven't got much power. So we're going to set the radio on in a moment. You can speak to us through the radio if you would like. Would you like that? Would you like that spirit? The workers that worked here at this farm. You are right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to try the spirit box, folks. Now, we generally get good responses on this, but it's not all the time we get good responses, it's just every so often. Come and speak to us. Green cheese. So there are any farmers here or any farm workers that want to speak with us?
speak to us through the radio. If you have any messages that you would like be, to be said, come and speak to us through the radio. It won't harm you in any way. Whatever we're doing here tonight is not going to hurt you. We're just here to communicate with you. So if you are here, because I feel that you are, I feel a coldness to my right day. Yeah. Come and speak with us. Yeah, come on, please. I think you're hiding in the shadows. Are you hiding in the shadows? Are you a milkmaid? Was you treated cruelly? We can help you if you are stuck. Please don't be timid. Please don't be shy by us. We want to communicate with you. Please come and speak through the radio. <laughs> work here for a long time. Dave, I think these walls were rendered up not that long ago. No. Probably about 30 years ago. Probably, yeah. Yeah. My last day. My last day. So I do understand what it's like. That was a bit. Yeah, but life is on the Yeah, yeah, there is a breeze on that way. So you are amongst us, are you? Are you here with us? Try this again a bit later, folks. Right, let's let's uh, we'll try the apps in a minute. So that they generally do work. We do get good responses through the necrophonic and what have you, don't we? Let's make sure I shove that in there because I don't want to lose that. making sounds outside spirit the people that once lived here because I know there's a farmhouse was next door here which is all the roof's all gone in Dave yeah. did you used to live in the farmhouse just over the way here are you sad that this is derelict land now I think this is the only building that, apart from one other building on this farm that was here, mm. that's still got its roof still on, like, you know. So we're going to be here for about an hour, folks. We're, we've already been here about 20 minutes, so another 40 minutes and we'll be calling it a day. And we're going to get a brew in a bit as well. Right, I think we'll try the apps now.
we're just going to try the spirit talker now last time we used this we did get some good responses so i'm hoping this evening we might get some more responses folks so let's um let's give it a go Oh, I'm feeling cold, folks, so there is something close by. So, Spirit, if you're here, I can feel you now. Don't be frightened by us. Can you interact with our devices, please? Can you speak to us through the device I have here? We're not here to harm you in any way. No. We just want to communicate. What's your name? I do feel there's a female close by in the spirit world. Maybe a milk. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. So you are. So you're a milkmaid, aren't you? Some of those milkmaids were lovely looking women. Mm. you're here can you show us you're here please slight draft coming from this way <laughs> Do you want to ask some questions, mate? Do you like my friend here? I'll tell you something, right? You see That's these beams. Emergency. Here? All right. You see these beams here? Yeah. I, I, I think if you had to replace those today, that would cost a big yeah. fortune. What do you mean, spirit? Emergency? What? Was there an emergency on the farm, was there? <coughs> Excuse me. Stop lurking in the shadows, please. Come on, we've said that we don't mean you any harm. No. We're here with the great light. We don't mean you any ridicule. Would you please yeah. be so kind as to... Hi, Ralph. Ralph, that's my granddad's name. Yeah. Is this is a family member, is it? That's connected to me. My granddad was I called... was wealthy. My granddad was called Ralph. Feel. Hmm. I do feel that there is someone here with us, but they're lurking in the shadows. Hmm. Would you interact with our devices, please? Now, we're not here all night doing this, so please let yourself be known. We 
listening out folks to see if we can actually hear anything now there is subtle things going on but it's only subtle I'm hoping that the audio is okay as well because uh, we're not using the mics tonight <laughs> what so? What have you done? Oh God! David's pooed his pants. Torment of the soul. Torment of David's pants. <laughs> I'm joking, mate. Like no, it smells funny. I don't like it. What do you mean to like well, the soul it, spirit? It, it means that somebody must have done something in their life yeah. and that's affected them and, they, and it's still with them and they haven't been able to move on. So is there a spirit here that cannot move on because they're stuck here, they're trapped here? If you're trapped here, can you let yourself be known, please? We don't mean you any harm at all. We've no. said it many times now. Speak with us, please. I think it's nearly time to get a coffee, folks. Nearly time. generally get some responses on this it's only when you watch it back that you can actually you need you urge hello hello come and speak with us did you hear that did you what movement over there are you outside Can you repeat him? Can you repeat him? Yeah. It's a, bit, it's a bit awkward to figure out what they're saying. When you watched it back on video, you can just about... Sure. Sure. <laughs> Can you repeat it's, it's flat, folks. Now, the thing is, me and David haven't really picked up on anything, really, but... That doesn't mean to say that there isn't anything that you guys haven't picked up, because you probably have. Men sex pure. Yeah. Men sex something. Let's divorce. That's been weird. I don't, I don't <laughs> we'll try necrophonic in a moment. Are you sad that this place... What are you going like that for? Chew down me. Chew down on David's gut. What the fuck? You smelly cunt. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll stop that one now. Alright, we use Old Faithful now. Necrophonic. Necrophonic. <laughs> Right, so if there is anyone here with us, you can speak to us through this device. Please don't be frightened by it. It won't harm you. It might sound a bit strange. But whatever we're doing tonight is not going to harm you in any way at all. Please communicate with us. <coughs> Hello? Oh, I'm feeling cold. That's quite a good sign, folks. That means that the stick of boom is attacking me. What the fuck? Hi there. Hi. Did you work here for many years? Did you used to 
milk the cows here? What's your name? Can you tell us your name, please? This building survived World War Two. These beams date like Victorian times. It's amazing that this building is still here after all these yeah. years. I don't think it's going to be here for that much longer. No. But if you look up there, Dave, let's see the beams. Let's see that, that's the saw mark. Look. Yeah. That's been done on a steam traction engine uh, mill. <coughs> the people that built this were the timbers cut locally. <coughs> I can see that that was done by sawmill. Because mm -hmm. you can see the saw line marks in it, Dave. Look, you don't see that every day. No. That's amazing. Uh, it's a bit of history, isn't it? A bit of history, like that. Yeah. Love history. speak with us? Gone. Gone. Who's Ed? Who's Ed? Noises out there. That was quite clear. Yeah, yeah it was good. <laughs> Hearing noises out there, folks. There's no way you can get through that. It's completely overgrown. <coughs> you said that last time. Leave. Did you hear that? Leave. Why you want to leave? <coughs> Brian. Brian. Hi, Brian. Did you used to own this, Brian? Mm. Mm. That was interesting, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. Hello, Brian. Hi, Brian. So this was your farm, was it, my mm. answer? Did you have many people to work on the farm with you? <laughs> was this a nice profitable farm, was it? Hello? Hello? Brian, did you enjoy farming here? I think this farm would have been quite self-sufficient, folks. Yeah. It would have had a small amount of each animal and each crop. And uh, this is what we got to go back to, I think. Um, farming in a small scale like potatoes, carrots, um, everything else that you could grow. Um, personally, I'd love to restore this, I really would, you know. Hello. 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 Edward. Hello, Edward. Did you used to farm here as well, Edward? Many years ago. Spirit, can you tell us the name of the town that's close by? What's the name of the town over here? Yeah, I've no, heard that a few times now, but... What's the name of the town? Or what's the first letter of the town nearby? Can you tell us? Is 
Is that right, is it? Are we near Camborne? We're not fake, folks. No. What you see from us is the real deal. We don't need to dramatise ah. it and make it look like as if it's all singing and dancing. What you see from us is the real deal. David will know that. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a, a, a short break in a moment. We'll keep the camera rolling. We're going to uh, we're going to have a coffee, folks, because I think that we should. Yeah. What does David think? Yeah. Coffee time. Yeah. Coffee time. Coffee time. Diddy time. <coughs> ah, right. So, we'll cut that off. And we will have a brew. Folks, if you see anything in the meantime, please timestamp it because, um, you know, on the on the downtime, it doesn't mean even though we're we're not doing it, it, it doesn't mean that nothing will happen. So, if anything is paranormal happens while we're doing a brew, please please timestamp it and let us know. All right? We are not doing it. Doing what? Doing it. Doing what? You said we're doing it. What? Having a coffee? Oh, you know, you nut. <laughs> Doing it, folks. Coffee. Coffee time. Dave, look. How can you explain that? I don't know. Did you see that? It does it with me that So you are here then. We know you're here then. Make the other one go up, please. Yeah, don't be frightened. Do you want a cup of coffee? Would you like a coffee with us? We like the coffee. Don't be there. Yeah, you're that yeah. next boy. <laughs> right. Don't get it out. The cups, I mean. What? What are you on, babe? <laughs> are you saying anything? Uh, are you saying anything? Are you doing something? <coughs> no, I thought you was going to open it. Oh. Open, get a cup out. Yeah, but not yet. Hang on there. Mm. Patience, dear boy. <laughs> yeah, if you let go of my leg there, it's a bit fucking borderline whatever. I want coffee. Yeah, I'm doing it. Coming into the coffee. Fucking monster. hell, man. Oh, sorry, folks, I'm swearing. Coffee monster. Coffee monster. Oh, I thought we had the cookie monster for a minute. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm sore. I'm swearing, folks. Sorry. What's your man? No. Desperate. Mark, what have you done that for? Done what? Pushed it around that way. What? <laughs> He's trying to spam me, folks. No. Here you are. Lie to me. What is that? It's that. Oh, you know. to have a coffee folks it just takes the edge off yeah. and uh, thank you dad <coughs> oops sorry mate. that's the special mug that's the special one yeah so I've already seen that something out there that's a bit odd very strange what? Yeah, but I don't like it. <laughs> well, if you've made it this far, folks, then uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, what you see from us is what you get. Um, you know, we're the real deal. We don't need to dramatise stuff. You know, sometimes you get responses from spirits and sometimes you don't. It's part of it, isn't it, But I can't see shit. Look, he's actually over that thing, didn't he? What? Oh, fast, you're getting me back there, look, you know. Here are Dave, look, I help. I'll help. There you are, look. Oh, I'm such a good person, I know. Yeah, that's as good, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm speaking funny language then. Are you remote? Okay. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah. If you're still here with us, <coughs> you'll have a cup of coffee with us, yeah? That used to like a nice cup of coffee, didn't they? Cup of char. Nice cup of char. Right, we're going to have our coffee and then we'll do another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll call it folks because we are a little bit of a walk from the vehicle. Yeah. There's going to be a couple other YouTubers out there that each know where we are. So um, if you do know where this is, please respect the country code and take your shit home with you. Do not leave any rubbish anywhere because that's not...